as the holiday shopping seasons begins in earnest over the Thanksgiving weekend, we're spread out over the United States, capturing what the deal-seeking rush looks like this year. A humming economy does not necessarily mean consumers are planning to ready to open their wallets a little more. But that might be the best argument for bargain hunting. When will your favorite store open? There's a list below you can check. Twice. What drives people to stand in a Black Friday line? Ask the man known as Drive. Q. The millions of deal-seeking shoppers who jam malls and store aisles over the next few days will be doing so in what is by most measures the best economy in a decade. The unemployment rate, at 4.1%, is at its lowest level since the Clinton administration. The stock market is soaring. Even this fall's hurricanes could not upend a second consecutive quarter of solid economic growth. But two questions loom over the holiday shopping season, how free will Americans be with their spending when wage growth remains anemic? And how much of that money will they spend in stores, given the continuing shift toward online shopping? Overall, Americans appear confident in their economic prospects. The University of Michigan on Wednesday said consumer sentiment ticked down in November but remained close to its highest level since 2004. A separate survey conducted for the New York Times this month by the online polling firm SurveyMonkey likewise found that confidence was high and stable neither survey has moved much in response to political turmoil in Washington or crises overseas. This isn't something that's bouncing around a lot, said John Cohen, vice president of survey research for SurveyMonkey. People aren't rushing to save money the way they were during the downturn but that confidence may not translate into booming holiday sales. Most Americans plan to spend the same on their holiday shopping as last year, or less, according to the survey, only 12% plan to spend more. Diane Swank, an independent economist in Chicago, said she expected a strong shopping season but one that might be tempered somewhat by the lag in wage growth, which has consistently fallen short of economists' expectations. The question still is, will we get the wage gains? Ms. Swank said it is something we're still holding our breath on, especially among lower-income households. Still, those concerns are unlikely to keep American shoppers from taking advantage of the Black Friday deal central to many retailers' strategies. Two-thirds of Americans plan to shop over the long Thanksgiving weekend, according to SurveyMonkey and nearly a quarter plan to do all or most of their holiday shopping in that period. Whether they do so in stores is another matter. More than a third of holiday shoppers said they plan to make most of their purchases online this year, a trend that cuts across ages, education levels, and other demographic categories. And in an indication of the challenge facing retailers, two-thirds of online shoppers said they plan to make most of their purchases from a single site, Amazon. As shopping moves increasingly online, Amazon becomes an increasingly dominant force, MR.